This is our robot. Currently it has scored a max of 743 points. Let's break down the control systems to make this possible. Our robot is constantly running a two-stage vision-based automated aiming system. Using vision code that detects the goal with the front camera, our robot independently and automatically turns both the chassis and the telescoping hood towards either the high goal or the power shots. In addition to this, our robot's vision code also uses a kinematics equation to determine how fast the flywheel needs to spin to fire the rings into the high goal or at the power shots from any distance on the field. Lastly, our code uses a vector physics equation to adjust the angle of the shooter's telescoping hood to compensate for the robot's velocity. This allows it to shoot consistently at our target even while moving. Our auto-aim system is only able to work because we can precisely control the speed of our shooter using a PIDF controller. The PIDF controller carefully adjusts the motor power so that the flywheel is spinning at exactly the correct speed and corrects for the drop in speed that occurs when a ring is fired through the shooter. Our feeder is automatically controlled to shoot rings out as quickly as possible. The robot automatically shoots a ring when it is aimed towards the high goal, when the flywheel RPM is within a target range, when the robot's movement is under a certain threshold, and when the color sensor in our shooter detects that a ring is loaded. Our shooter automation allows us to accurately shoot at any time, at any velocity, from anywhere on the field. After implementing all of these control aspects, our highest score went from 369 points to 743 points. Next is our drive controls. We have worked hard to get our robot driving to be intuitive and smooth to control for the drivers while also maintaining accuracy. First is driver-oriented control. Using normal drive controls, moving the joystick forward or backward drives the robot forward or backward relative to itself. But with our code, input on the controller drives the robot always relative to the driver, which is much more intuitive. The second way that we improve the natural feel of driving is through our kinetic energy turns. They model the natural deceleration that the robot would have if it wasn't constrained by a PID system, while maintaining the accuracy that the PID system provides. It does this by calculating the robot's kinetic energy and using it to adjust the PID controller. Lastly are our autos. We use all of the control systems that we described earlier to aid the robot in completing its autonomous objectives. In all three randomizations, our robot uses our vision system to aim and shoot its preloaded wings at the power shots, picks up both wobble goals and drops them into the designated square and shoots the entirety of the starting stack of rings into the high goal. Uniquely, our robot also goes and picks up any rings that bounce back from the power shots and scores them into the high goal as well. Lastly, it parks on the navigation line. This makes our maximum possible score 116 points for a zero ring randomization, 128 for one ring, and 164 points for four rings. Thank you for watching our control award submission.